All right, and welcome back. So I have been playing Paleo a lot, and I have been upgrading my house so much. It's what's been my top priority. I've been leveling up my furniture crafting a whole bunch too. It's already level 12. And I wanted to share some tips and tricks that I found along the way while decorating my house in Paleo. So let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, when you go and hit control to pick up furniture and move it around on a grid, it'll snap and sometimes it'll say that something's in the way if you're trying to like tuck the chair in under the table, for instance. If you tap Z, you can take the grid off or on. When you have the grid off, you are able to freely place objects wherever you want and you get much more precise movement on where you want to put things. Also, don't just rely on Q and E to rotate. You can also use your scroll wheel for easier access on rotating your items around. In case you didn't know, you can take off wallpaper and flooring if you want to. You just have to hit control, go over to the wallpaper and hit G, then it'll revert to the original wall. Same thing with the floor tile over this way too. Now, speaking of the wallpaper and flooring, in this game, you can actually place it unlimited times. So it won't get used on consumption. I was a little worried about that initially because the wallpapers in the general store, they cost 2,500 and that's a lot of money to just be doing it once. So thankfully it is unlimited use. The other thing that you can do with wallpapers is you can even put them on your exterior too. So if you want to spruce up your outside, you can go and add some wallpaper outdoors. And just like the inside, you press G to remove the wallpaper. Now, in case you didn't know, you can change the look and feel of each room's walls. So for instance, if I wanted to make this more modern and open concept, I would then press the H button, go here, and then I could select the open concept option here. And you can see it has a much more open flow. Alternatively, we could go here and even pick a single doorway here, but it makes it feel definitely a lot more closed off. So for my particular area here I like to go with a double doorway because it adds this nice little archway and I think it just ties the room nicely together. It's the same thing with windows by the way. So this is the double window. You can go and select this and put a regular window which is a bit smaller or you can go and even make it so that there's no window at all. That way you can display some more wall art if you want to. Now, even though hallways are only three by three rooms, I really like them a lot. They add a lot of character to your house and dimension. So here, for instance, I made it a little nook where I can go craft my items, where over this way, I made it more open concept to make my bedroom look less boxy and more inviting. Now, if you're running out of storage space, don't worry. If you want to go and craft furniture, be sure to do so because you have unlimited decor storage. All furniture pieces, wallpaper, flooring, and even those chests that you find around the world can be stored here with no penalty towards your overall storage amount. Don't buy the windmill from City Hall for 5,000 gold. When you go and actually expand your land, even just a little bit with some of the Ritz, you'll eventually unlock this for free. So no need to go and use your precious gold on it. While it does take real time for your house and your additional rooms to be constructed, you can move them around freely and it actually will do it instantaneously. You can also grab your house and move it wherever you would please as well. You just have to make sure that you have enough space with the trees and everything cleared out. That way you can place it wherever you want. I highly encourage you to go and level up your furniture making skill because doing so will allow you to furnish your home for much cheaper than trying to buy furniture from the shop. Also, when you level up your furniture making skill, you can pick up different items and you can unlock the modification bench. This allows you to go and customize the color of your furniture. When you go here, you can even click around and preview what the customization is going to look like. The larger the item is, the more customization kits it's going to cost. This one takes five, while over here, the armchair only takes three. Each customization kit costs 100 gold and you can purchase them from the furniture store. In addition to furniture making, you should really go fishing. I like this makeshift collection and you actually reel it in through treasure boxes by fishing and I really like it for the exterior items. I have been struggling to find things to put outside, but like this clothesline and that cute little canopy and even the picnic basket can all be reeled in from fishing. You can actually have multiple houses, but you have to switch between your different save slots up here at the top. So if I go over to new slot, don't worry. It doesn't mean that you deleted everything. It's just over here. The default slot has my main home. But if I wanted to, I could go to city hall. I could purchase another big main entrance to the house. 
build it, wait some more time for it to be constructed, and then I can basically just build another home from scratch. So you can't reuse the other rooms that you already own. If you get to the point where you want to build a secondary home, you can do that. Also, you can go over here to the security settings, and when you have friends over, you can grant them editor permissions. That way you can even build and like decorate things together too. Rooms are expensive. I've been playing this game super hardcore, but if you're getting that craving and you want to like decorate a space, you can build multiple tents. At first, I assumed that I could only build one for the longest time, but as you can see, I've made another one, and I've decided to make this a dedicated space for all my preserve jars. Now, I have fully unlocked the entire plot of lands. I've used a bunch of writs, and you have a maximum of 15 buildings that you can place down, so each room classifies as one. This is the harvest house, this is a small room, large room, hallway section, another hallway section, medium room, and small room. The fireplace add-on also contributes to your building limit, however, the windmill does not. Now, just a heads up, this final tip does have some very minor spoilers in it, but if you care about that, then you should probably stop watching the video. If you don't mind minor spoilers, basically, eventually, if you keep talking to Zeki, the general store owner, he's gonna ask you to go and seek out his black market. When you get that quest, you will find the black market entrance behind Remembrance Garden and nearby Remembrance Beach. There's gonna be an entrance to a sewer gate there, once you go there and talk back to Zeki, he will actually give you a key to access the black market at any point that you want to. So it's over here behind the general store, and then you pull out the loose book over here. Once you get into the black market, you will find a variety of different rugs and also other appliances for the bathroom. And also you can even get this Rage Against the Arcade machine that is pretty expensive. The rugs kind of vary in price and the bathtubs, I've seen some go as cheap for 1,000 all the way up to 12,000. Black Market changes its stock every single day at 6 p.m. and it lasts until 3 in the morning. So you have that time of window to go shopping. But that's how I got this really cute rug here and all the other rugs that you see in my house. As of right now, there is no way to craft them. Again, same thing with the bathroom appliances, you have to purchase them. Oh, one caveat about the black market items though is that for some reason, sometimes they are not customizable. So for instance, if we go over here, even though this is the Capital Chic bathtub, it is currently not modifiable, but the Ravenwood toilet is. It just kind of depends. Sometimes the rugs are customizable and other times they are not. But yeah, make sure you go and check the modification table because every once in a while, you never know, you might actually find out that there's like another swatch that you like way, way better. Now, by the way, I have fully crafted a bunch of different furniture sets and I'm thinking of making videos showcasing different full sets. So let me know in the comments which ones you would like to see in full detail, including all the recolors. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoy Palea and want to see more tips and tricks or content in the future, then be sure to subscribe. But until then, see you next time.